Hello fellow AFOLs and welcome to Long's Bricks. Today we are taking a look at some Lego knockoff uh, Dragon Ball Z minifigures. Uh, these two are from a company called Duo, Duo Le Pin Toys. And this one is from LEBQ. But do you think it's hilarious how they're trying so hard to look like the official Lego logo that when you look at it fast, it really does kind of look like it. So I'm guessing these are two different companies. I don't know if these are officially licensed or not. I would guess no, but they do have the official DBZ logo and everything. I found these recently. I went to a local con, uh, retro con in Oaks, Pennsylvania, and I got all three of these for 10 bucks. And DBZ is definitely a theme that I wish Lego would tackle for real because I think there could be a lot of cool stuff that they could do. Obviously a ton of minifigures, even if they just did like a CM F series I think that could be really fun but there's definitely some potential for some like iconic locations maybe like capsule core uh Kame house things like that I think could be a lot of fun but I just thought it'd be really neat to check these out um I have no idea what the quality will be like packaging has like you know kind of a picture of the minifigure here obviously not doesn't have anything close to this kind of articulation kind of reminds me of like something you'd see in like a lego video game something like that uh and then over here on the back i guess they come with some random accessories and maybe a card some instructions i really have no idea this says fittings of a machine and i don't know what that means <laughs> it's some kind of lightsaber-esque sword and a couple of other pieces that i don't really know what those are for so that'll be interesting uh looks like there's a lineup over here on the side majin Buu, uh this guy's name is apparently ratio graham i'm assuming it's supposed to be piccolo but apparently his name is ratio graham the others names all seem to be correct so that's interesting uh taking a look at the master roshi one uh, again i think the artwork here on the front looks pretty good uh, over here shows you how to put it together. It looks like he actually comes with a Dragon Ball. So you can see these two are from the same assortment where they all come with Dragon Balls. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. They have little little uh, meters here for, I guess, their fighting ability. And then we have <laughs> Piccolo. I think it's funny that they decided to give him the cape but not the hat. I think that's interesting. Also, his cape doesn't really have... Like the Doctor Strange style uh, collar, but that's what they went with. Um, again, shows you how to put it together. I have no idea what to expect with these. I might have to actually snap all the individual pieces in. It's kind of what it looks like. And then it looks like he's got a Dragon Ball as well. And then he's got uh, a lot more stats. Up here we got his fighting meter. So like I said, I have really no idea what to expect with these. So I'm going to get them out of the box, put them together, and we'll take a closer look. So I thought I would just show off how one of these comes. Uh, so first of all, I opened up Piccolo. You can see everything here in the bag. Uh, looks like some of it has been put together, but I'm going to have to probably put the arms together and snap those in. We have the Dragon Ball, which actually looks pretty good. And then it looks like you have a little stand as well. And then for whatever reason, Piccolo comes with a Vegeta card. Uh, this is specifically Majin Vegeta, at least pictured here. Um, so interesting. I don't, I don't know what these cards are for or what they do, if they do anything. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead, we will open this up. I'm going to attempt to open this up. Dump it out, see what we have going on here. So it looks like the cape is not quite paper, not quite cloth, maybe something a little in between. And it looks like it is connected. I was kind of hoping to just put the cape on him and not have the collar, but I would have to cut that, and I'm probably not going to do that. So, um, you yeah, know, minifigure actually feels fairly solid. I mean, you can tell it's definitely a cheaper plastic quality than Lego. Uh, the, this connection is not very strong, but it's not terrible. So I'm going to, I won't bore you with the details. I'll put it all together and we'll come right back. All right, so here you go. Here is everything you get. Uh, you have the minifigure. You have this little stand, which says Duo Le Pen Blocks World Innovation by Me. So there you go. Uh, the Dragon Ball is actually pretty good. It's a translucent little orb here. Uh, has the uh, six star ball here. You can kind of see like there's a connection spot there, and you can kind of see on the inside of the the ball like where it's hollow inside which takes away a little bit from the stars i wish they were a little bit more pronounced but overall not bad i mean they are kind of comically large like these would definitely be like namekian size dragon balls <laughs> with how big they are but the character could actually hold it which is actually kind of cool uh and then putting all of this aside 
We'll take a look at the minifigure here. Now he does come with an extra hand for some reason, so I guess he does have regenerative abilities. And then he also comes with this like Ninjago-esque blade, a uh, little bit softer plastic, so you can see it's a little warped there, but just a little translucent blue. I don't really know of a attack that Piccolo has that forms a blue blade, but he comes with that. Uh, printing's honestly not terrible. It's definitely a darker color green than I expected from the box. If we bring the box back in, you can see here, um, it definitely seems like a lighter green and a, and a more purpley purple. This is definitely darker green and kind of more of a blue, like maybe indigo at best. Um, but yeah, you can see a little bit of the printing there. It's got the sash. I uh, got some printing here on the back as well. The head's not bad. Like I said, I would have loved a hat piece. I think that would have been cool. Uh, again, he doesn't really have this kind of Doctor Strange-esque collar, but I guess technically if I wanted, I could just maybe fold this down and it would just look like a second layer to his regular cape. So whatever you prefer. Um, I know it would be kind of impossible to replicate the shoulder pads, but you can see that there's a lot of like the cloth bunched up here in the front. It kind of works, though, when you kind of think about the fact that, like, you know, Piccolo's usually hangs down a little bit. So, it's not the best representation. <laughs> it's not the worst, I guess. Um, but, yeah, the colors definitely in person are, are a little off. I feel like on the box they were better. It should be more of a purple and a slightly lighter green. But, overall, fairly interesting. Next up, we have Master Roshi. Also comes with an extra hand for some reason. And also comes with the Majin Vegeta card. So I guess they just love Majin Vegeta. But in any case, he comes with the four-star Dragon Ball, which again, actually pretty good. The printing on there, which it could be a little bit more pronounced. The red does blend into the orange, but I mean, that's what they look like. So they're definitely accurate. Uh, once again, we have the same base, Innovation by Me. Uh, taking a look at Master Roshi, now he came in the bag completely uh, disassembled, so I had to put the legs onto the crotch piece and, and peg that in. But he's got his little staff, he's got the turtle shell. Now unfortunately, because he has the beard and the turtle shell, you kind of have to decide what order you want to put them in. I opted to have the beard as close to the head as possible, so there wasn't extra space in there. It does look a little weird. If you take the shell off, of course, I think it would look a little bit better, uh, just to show what that looks like. We'll take all these pieces off. Also, just to show you that there is no printing on the back. And the connections, just like with Piccolo, they're not bad. They're not amazing. Uh, you know, the legs move. He's actually got kind of shorty legs, but they do move, like the ones we've seen in the Harry Potter sets. Otherwise, it's all normal minifigure articulation. But yeah, the printing on the chest, I think, looks pretty good. He does have the straps for the turtle shell printed on there, so if you do take the turtle shell off, that might look a little weird. But then again, the beard covers most of the chest printing as it is. So it does look a little better with the beard without the shell. And then just to show the printing on the face, honestly not too bad. Now if we do it the other way, actually I don't even think it'll work the other way because of the, I mean I guess it would kind of work, but it would look really ridiculous. Yeah, so you kind of have to put the shell on first. And it has to do with the way that the beard has that kind of like track for the head to sit in so it sinks down a little bit further. Because of that, you can't really do it the other way. But yeah, overall, I think he looks pretty good. I mean, the staff is simple, but it works. I think that's kind of cool. So all in all, not too bad. Okay, so next up we have Vegeta. Now this is from a different company than the other two, and definitely a couple of things to note with Vegeta. Uh, you have this very basic uh, stand for the figure, even though on the box uh, it looked like there was actually some like printing of the logo, like a pretty nice base there. Also, none of these pieces are included, not that I needed them. Uh, and also the sword is red instead of blue. So, a couple of a little bit of false advertisings there on the box. Uh, the other thing is, you can see, uh, that's obviously Vegeta hair, but the hair that was included is most definitely Goku's hair. So, that looks a little off. You have more of a Vegito thing going on here. I will say that the printing, though, on the chest, I think for the Saiyan armor, looks really good. 
but it's also kind of a bummer that that's definitely like a navy blue and then the arms and legs are just this normal blue uh he also has a second if i can get the hair piece off which apparently i cannot so you have one expression and he actually has a second expression so he has two faces to give you some options there uh, honestly, I could live with the, the different colors of blue, but the Goku hair instead of the Vegeta hair is definitely a bummer. And again, I don't know why he needs this sword. Uh, and he also came with one additional hand. So I guess they just, they really want to make sure you have all the hands that you need, which I guess is good. Um, so yeah, pluses and minuses there. <laughs> uh, like I said, I could definitely live with the different shades of blue. But the Goku hair instead of the Vegeta hair is definitely a bummer. But I do really like the printing on both sides. I think that actually came out pretty good. He also came with three cards. Uh, not all Majin Vegeta. So I don't know if these are supposed to be like a game that they want you to play. We have Ratio Graham. Who has the uh, printing on the chest like it's Evil King Piccolo. Instead of just regular Piccolo. Even though the picture in the back there is regular Piccolo. So... Sure, Ratio Graham. And then we have Vegeta here, again, not quite what is pictured. And then we have a, a Super Saiyan Goku, which doesn't look too bad. And that's where you can definitely see that that hairpiece is meant for Goku. So, And it's funny because this hairpiece really should not be black. Because Goku's hair, when it's black, does not look like this. So I don't know why. I think they just cheaped out, honestly. I, I don't know if this hairpiece even exists. But the cards are kind of cool. On the back, they just say... Dragon Ball Z minifigures. So, yeah, that's, I mean, you can't really be too upset. You know, they're knockoffs and they were a couple bucks a piece. Uh, I just thought they would be fun. But yeah, definitely not quite is what is pictured there. So, yeah, honestly, I mean, pluses and minuses to all these. I kind of think I'm leaning towards the ones from this company. I just like them a little bit better. Uh, yes, the coloring on Piccolo is a little off, but the printing's pretty good. He's actually got a torso and a little bit of leg printing. I think the head looks pretty good. The cape could use some work, but again, I understand. Uh, Master Roshi, I think, is pretty solid. Honestly, I think the figure looks good. The printing on the chest is good. I like the inclusion of the turtle shell. I think what they did for his staff works. Don't really have too many complaints there. And then the Vegeta, like I said, there are pluses and minuses. I really love the printing on the front and the back of the torso, but then that torso is a navy blue while the arms and legs are blue. I could probably get past that, uh, but including the Goku hairpiece instead of the Vegeta hairpiece is definitely a bit of a bummer. Uh, and again, I don't know why they include these like blade pieces, I guess, just to give them some accessories, but I would rather have the Dragon Balls. I think those are much cooler. So again, just a little something I thought would be fun to take a look at. Uh, I'm sure there are tons of different, you know, knockoff Dragon Ball minifigures from various companies, but I really wish Lego would just tackle this. I would love to buy official Lego DBZ product because I think that would be really, really amazing. And I'm sure they would do a great job with it. And there's so much they could do. I mean, there's so many characters. Even, like I said, if just give us a CMF line, I'd love even just that. Or start out with that, and then if that does well, you know, then see what you can do in terms of play sets or vehicles, things like that. I think it could be a lot of fun. I mean, I don't know how they go about getting the rights to that kind of stuff. But I definitely think it could be really cool. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.